guys what's up on sportsmanlike conduct gab pre we're here to Hi. talk with you guys we're having a better week than last week i will say uh yeah yeah i mean you are i, guess, I mean i guess you, you didn't take an l but no um, i didn't but like it, it was a little too close for comfort um and i <laughs> i i think if the jets had an actual quarterback the, that game would have gotten really ugly so shout out to zach wilson for um flood football being zach wilson right so we're gonna we're gonna bring in a guest for you guys, someone who is a uh, Bills super fan. I mean, second week in a row, Gab has done this to me, and she's I'm just sorry. come and said, "Oh, hey, we got a Bills person um, to join the show," and I'm like, "I'm gonna need one of these days." I know it's hard with the Patriots because they have like these crazy rules about media. We're gonna have to figure this out, but I'm gonna sit here and you know do my best. Second week in a row. <laughs> Who right. we got, Gab? Here we go. We got Bill Superfan, Guardians legend, Oakland A superstar, Ernie Clement. What's up? Thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, we should start off by talking about your weekend. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we yes. can hear you. You're good. All right, let's ride. Um, <laughs> oh, who are you, Russell Wilson? Broncos oh, <laughs> country. No, uh, so. <laughs> I actually went to the game this weekend, okay. uh, Sunday night, against the pack, and it was, it was that. not an empty seat in the house. It was unbelievable. Beers were Did you jump through a table? Like... Jump through a couple tables, yeah. Did you? <laughs> Did you, you have a video? Actually... <laughs> I don't. I, I, I actually did. I, uh, you know, got to keep it under control relatively. Um, right. You know, good big season coming up. I'm in mm -hmm. off-season mode, but but the the grind doesn't stop, so. You know, trying to trying to keep the body ready to go. If I jump through a table, might uh, not be the best look. I mean, the people will yeah. love it. You'll get the views. Yeah, it's all about the views. <laughs> all about the views. <laughs> right. Oh man. Well, the Bills were active today. Made a couple trades. One of which being acquiring Naheem Hines, um, which low key helps me a little bit for fantasy purposes because i have jonathan taylor and obviously we know jonathan taylor's season has been not the best not great not all that good um and the return being zach moss I, maybe that's gonna help me out a little bit because i don't necessarily know you probably would know better than i but like i am not super high on him as a number one running back um, but that's just what the Bills need is another freaking threat. <laughs> yeah, like... I love it. I think it's a great move. Um, you know, they, they, I, Zach Moss just wasn't really doing it for me. Oh. Um, he wasn't really playing. So, you know, it is what it is. It's like kind of just dump him. And, you know, we drafted a couple running backs in the draft this year. So, you know, I think I think a, a veteran pass catcher and third down back or whatever Naheem Hines is going to do for us. You know, that's that's huge. It's just what we need. I'm a big Singletary guy. I like Singletary. I think he's played well um, at the end of last year, and then and then moving forward this year, I think he's done just what we needed. Well, who would you say is doing it for you? You know, like who's doing it for you? Ever the the whole Everybody. team is unbelievable. They're yeah. unbelievable this year. So you know that offense is clicking. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if we ran the ball zero times a game, honestly. I mean, yeah, we could just. Besides, like there. Josh Allen, duh. Yeah, dink and yeah. dunk a little bit on, on early downs, and then you know let Josh do his thing. So, I mean, it's it's an exciting offense. It really is. Like every part of it is such a freaking cheat code. Like you can't defend Josh Allen. You can't do it because he's. Uh, he's a freight train, first of all, if he's going to choose to run. Right. And then if he decides to pass, you've got more more likely than not Stephon Diggs wide open 60 yards down the field that he can just connect because he's got a rocket for an arm. So my fantasy team this year, uh, I went when I went down to Columbus this year in AAA, I joined in on their fantasy league, mm -hmm. and I had like the eighth pick. And I took Stephon Diggs, and people are like giving me crap about it. And then I took Josh Seems Allen like in, the in the second round, and people are oh, like, what man. are you doing stacking the bills? And I'm in first place. I'm seven and zero. Oh. So well, yeah. someone was like chirping on Twitter, saying that you're in their fantasy league and you're three and whatever. You only have oh, three yeah, wins. My team's, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> they they, okay. they randomly DM me on Twitter and we're like, yo, like, you want to join? join this league? And I'm like, yeah, oh, that's, that's sick. Oh, really? 
Yeah, it was great. Uh, oh, that's funny. I don't think my team's that bad, though. You know, we'll see. We'll make a little run at the end. Oh, well, my team was so terrible this weekend, guys. I had to start, and let me tell you, the quarterback I had to start. Kenny fucking Pickett. <laughs> Kenny Pickett. This is the only option that we had. And I only lost. I lost by two points. Oh, okay. Thanks. Speaking of l- losing by a small margin, freaking Amari Cooper is the reason I lost. And I lost by four points. Gotta, that hey, last that? catch, if he, that is what did me in. Because T. Higgins scored a touchdown right after that. I just needed Amari like, to just have a normal night. He has his best night as a Cleveland Brown, of course, because why wouldn't he? Yeah, those brownies so only... looked good last night. How about well, last night, don't, oh. wa- don't watch them ever again because I don't think it's ever going to happen. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what it is. They just own the Bengals. Yeah. If you tell me they're going to lose every single game except two, I'll say, yep, those two are going to be against the Bengals because they just really do it to Joe Burrow. That's unfortunate. I don't get it, though. They embarrassed him on national TV. That is not the team that we watched two weeks ago get just smacked around by the Patriots. Not the team. You didn't have his guy, Jamar. Oh, come on. But they still won by a decent amount. Everything. I don't even think if Jamar played it would have made as big of a difference. He was that offensive line. I, I not good. Lots of money mm-hmm. and for what? Know. You know, you know what people were saying. People were saying in the off season that Joe Burrow was the best quarterback in the NFL, and I think that they're very wrong because who um, said that? Sounds a Bengals. Right. Okay. Bengals fan. The Bengals. Fan. A lot of Bengals fans came out of the woodwork last year. I'll tell you that. Yes, they did. A lot of Bills fans oh, did, yeah, too. They did. No, they didn't. They had a, they had, no, they they had a big <laughs> fan base. That is really true. I, I agree with the, the Bills fans' take. But, you know, I've been, I've been, been staying strong for, for a long time now. So, so are the, you from the, Western New York? Is that how this happened? Yeah, so I, I grew up in Rochester. An hour oh, okay. Of Buffalo. And, uh, you know, all my buddies are, are Bills fans. We go to, we've gone to a game at least one every year for the last, like, 10 years or so uh so you know we we, we went through some really dark days when i was uh, growing yeah, up I know about right those. so rochester Sorry. um are the garbage plates like do you like those are they good oh my god is it good on garbage plates uh, oh i don't know so how to like, describe right, it you so can they, lay out, you got it. they lay out home fries mac salad and then they top it with like two or three cheeseburgers and they put like meat sauce on it and ketchup, mustard. It's ridiculous. It's so good. I mean, I feel like that'd be good. It's like good. It's oh, unbelievable, man. but like, you know, you're going to kind of go through it after you're done with it. Like, oh, yeah. You're going to be hurting for sure. Down a whole bottle of Tums or something. <laughs> it's, so, it's so worth it, though. It's so good. That sounds. Uh... They look scary. I'm not going to lie. You just yeah. got to. Just gotta try it. Gotta try it. Never get a chance. Do it. I don't know how I feel about like meat sauce. Couple, you gotta have like a couple drinks in, and you'll really a couple drinks in. Like more than a couple. Got it. That makes a little bit more sense. (laughs) Hmm. Okay. So before we start talking about the Bills game this week, how is it going with your buddies who were big Packers guys? Oh yeah, we had a blast. So I was with Owen Miller. Mm Hmm. Oscar Mercado, who's he's not, not a Packers, Packers fan. fan. No, he's, yeah, you should have made him wear a Bills jersey. He's a Bucks guy, but he just right. wanted to be a jerk and wear right. a Packers jersey. Um, and then James Palco, Cleveland guy, big big Packers fan. Um, and then Owen Miller's younger brother, who actually plays with the uh, Minnesota Twins. But you know, they kind of they tried to gang up on me, but I had the whole city of Buffalo on my side. Right so, on your back, yeah. You know, they still got heckled pretty good, which which good. made my day. And then we kick the crap out of them so yeah. that was exciting but those guys are doing really really well it was it was fun to see um spent the weekend in uh in buffalo and hung out it was sweet i spent the weekend in buffalo like a few months ago and i went out there that's a wild scene oh yeah did you guys yeah. did you go out, out? no I, I went out out it was a wild scene we caused yeah. some chaos um no, it was wild. they were like having us pay like 20 dollars to get into places that had like two people oh yeah that's not great what? right and then this guy it was bad i'm gonna tell you guys a story it was bad he was like he's a bald man standing at the door trying to charge people to get in i'm like we're not paying 20 dollars getting well you're not going to get in without it bald man dressed like roy williams i told him 
you are not Buffalo Bezos, let us in. Shouldn't have said that. It's this story is that. so much better when she actually shows you the video of what this man looked like. He <laughs> looked like Jeff Bezos dressed as Roy Williams for Halloween. Oh. Right. This wasn't on Halloween. No, no, no. This is just a normal day. Just, doing the <laughs> just a normal day. <laughs> right. So, yeah, Buffalo is a crazy place to go out. It I've is. Never been. The bars are open until like four. Hmm? So, that's, that's a, little, a little late for me. But, right. Yeah, 2 a.m. is like the cap of it all. Right. Even yeah. that, but it's a great, it's a great city uh, for football. Yeah. Bree, you need to go to a game there. I really, I, I, I don't, don't know if I would wear I the Patriots stuff, though. I might. No, no, come for the, the Pats Bills game in Buffalo is actually so fun. For you, when, probably. I went last for year. you. So last year, beat us. Yeah. Oh, you, you went to that, the win game? Yeah, you only threw the ball three times. Yep, sure um, did. And it was like 15 degrees with like 40 mile an hour winds. Yeah. I went to that game. It was unbelievable. It was actually awesome. It was probably the best loss I've ever watched because it was just like <laughs> only in Buffalo are you getting like that maybe like lambo yeah i don't i don't know i had an interesting experience in cleveland a couple weekends ago <laughs> so and, well, i mean, I mean like, you have grown men barking in a stadium it's gonna be in yeah but like that's but that's the thing though like the browns patriots like there's no rivalry there it's not any it's just whatever i feel like i feel like the patriots are always gonna have a target on it Oh, yeah right no matter yeah, well, yeah like no matter where i go like i know i get shit i got heckled at uh vegas last year just be or last year yeah last year just because i had my pats like clear purse uh -oh. and that's the only thing i had the, i wasn't it wasn't it. even a patriots game like i went to the Bengals raiders game last november and i was getting shit for my my purse all because i had the logo on it so i can only imagine what going to Buffalo would be like for me? If... I think you'd love it. I think you'd love it. <sighs> I'm sure. I don't know. I'm sure it I don't would know. be so I don't know fun. If you would. I don't know if you would. I really. I know. Do. I know for a fact it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, but you I, my, fun. Buddy, my buddy is a Pats fan. He went last year with me. We had the best time, and he got heckled all game. But like, just you just gotta love it. You just gotta embrace. It. Yeah, I went to I went to Maybe the one day. Pats Bills game. You know when they the dildo on the field. Oh, that's classic. the game, sister. I went to that one. <laughs> well, the one last year when it was on the field. Yeah. The one when it was on the field. And there were someone, someone in the crowd was holding a sign, well, a big poster, and it was Tom Brady and Bill Belichick kissing. Nice. Well, he doesn't have a wife to kiss anymore, so. Oh, I guess so. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah that, what are your thoughts actually, on Brady right now? Dude, he's a mess. Yeah, he's he looks terrible, terrible, and it's obvious that he's distracted. <laughs> I think it's not going well. Right. Okay, Bills, Jets. What's your score prediction? What's it going to be like? Uh, I think it, I think it'll be pretty close. I think it'll end up being like thirty-eight to seven. Oh, really close. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> I might even bump it up to like maybe forty-five. I'd say yeah. thirty-eight-seven because Josh probably won't play the fourth quarter, and the right, Jets we'll will like punch. They'll punch one in late, but it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, you'll get the best. Backup quarterback of all time, garbage man. Is that Joe Flacco who's their backup? No, right? I'm talking about Case Keenum. Oh, he is the best. I thought yeah. you. Were <laughs> no, 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 no. Also, no, no. Not make it the whole game. Right. We uh we just activated Trey White too. Defense. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, they'll probably start him slow, but good to see him back. Oh, he'll be ready to go in a couple of weeks when mm -hmm. those New England games are like back to back almost. Yeah. Wait, is Mac Jones like? Are you like on the zappy hour train or what? Um, this is like kind of a sensitive. I know. So full, both of them. full disclosure, I would prefer Brady still, obviously. I feel well, like I mean, any, yeah, that anybody any would prefer would. Brady. I don't actually, I don't know. Right now, would you prefer him? Oh, yeah. Look on trash. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Brady's like with, he could have the craziest stuff going on in his life and he would I still be well, not the Patriots. I don't think it would matter if. Bill was still in the picture. Um, I did not want the Pats to draft Mac Jones, and I got clowned for it. And now maybe people are starting to see the vision when I said that because year two is not going as good as year one. Um, I just like I don't know 
neither of them are the answer long term, obviously, right? Right. When you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. Right, so. exactly. Yeah, Matt Jones sure. just yeah. seems to me like he's like scatterbrained right now. Like he doesn't, I don't know. Because some of these decisions are something I would expect from like a JD Sam high Darnold. school quarterback. <laughs> Sam Darnold. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It, it's all. So <clears throat> like he's he's so lucky that that pick six got nullified and because that was one of the worst throws I've ever seen. I don't even know. Did you see Amari Cooper's last night? That would be almost <laughs> as bad as I just, okay, so like, like Zappy a match Jones played, throw. Zappy played well when he got in. Like why not keep riding the riding the wave? Um that would just look so bad because Mac was a first round pick. Like it would just so look so what? bad. It was killing. He played well. Killing it. I agree. I but agree. And now it's now it's all messed up. Now even if they went back to him, he probably wouldn't be able to because he's stopped playing. Like he's he needs to get in that groove, I feel. Oh. But now they're both messed up. That's yeah. not right, that's and that's not, good for you though. Oh, it's great. I love right, I'm, yeah. I, I'm smiling watching this carousel season. Great. Like this is what it's like. Like you dealt with this for your entire life and now it's yeah. roles are reversed, you know I'm suffering, you know you're having a good time. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Um, Who are the Bills gonna play in the Super Bowl? Oh my god, yes. He just asked me this the other day. I want it to be I think if it was Bills Eagles in the Super Bowl, it would like one of those two cities would burn to the ground. Yeah, I mean Philly's on the verge. Maybe. On the verge of burning right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, yeah be close. they wouldn't World Series too. That'd be crazy. Um, I don't know. I I just like Philadelphia and their fans are hilarious. <laughs> They're crazy. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be great. That would be. I think that I, that might be one of the most fun matchups that I could imagine this year. Mm-hmm. Not like obviously my team excluded. Those the Eagles are so good. You guys are obviously really good. The fan bases are. <laughs> Full of psycho degenerates who just love to drink and <laughs> throw each other around and stuff. There would be just so fun. So yeah, no, that would be awesome. And it's know, in we'll Arizona, see. where like no rules, go out, oh, yeah. do whatever. I'm try to get out there. I think I'm gonna be out there for it. So I'm pumped about that. I don't think I'm gonna well, go. Is that where you have spring training? Yeah. yeah it will be okay. Yeah. And that's like right around the same time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna try to get down there at like end of January, beginning of Feb, and then I think the Super Bowl is like the first February twelfth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and mm. then spring training two weeks later. Yeah, be it. That'll okay. be it. That'll be it. Okay, yeah. so let's move away from the Bills for a minute. Let's talk about you a little more. You do a lot of stuff like we do. That's get a lot of trolls on the internet. And I feel like you have like the best responses. You give them hell. You really do. Uh, it's all it's all fun. Like I just think it's so right. like so cool to like somebody's like talking shit. Like be able to you know clap back a little bit. Um. So I just I just have fun with it. I, I it's all in good fun. I'm not like trying to like hurt anybody's feelings, but. Um, what you gonna do with your when you get when you get chirped <laughs> and after a game and stuff like you know, it's good to like find some light in it and you know have some fun with it it's not like i'm i don't know i'm not like my feelings aren't hurt when people tweet at me so i would hope right, that their feelings tweet. are already hurt that that's why they're doing it you know they're right. already having a bad time like, my favorite thing is when i get like a venmo request for like 50 bucks <laughs> they're like hey why didn't you get a hit right there oh you, my I god needed, i needed the over you owe me 50 dollars and i like I mean, maybe, maybe you should be better <laughs> at betting, you know? Yeah, well, I, yeah, it's your fault for betting. Yeah, maybe be better. Uh, I have I have accepted the Venmo one, and it was really funny. The guy, like, <laughs> the guy, like, commented on it was like, dude, you're the best. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> As he just, um, like, chirped you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, like, I, you just be like an idiot. Whatever. But, yeah, you probably watched just, it again the next day. I, I never try and take it too seriously. But I think that's kind of how you have to handle social media. Yeah, yeah. Because people on there are freaking nuts. Like, they don't care. They think because they're behind a screen, they can just say whatever they want, no consequences. So sometimes, sometimes feelings need to be hurt. But if yeah, like the Hiram Boyd thing, 
Oh, see, I was gonna. I didn't know if I was just should bring him up or not, but like he's crazy. <laughs> he's got some this? like his Twitter. Some... Like I don't. I, I don't know. He's but some I, like Cleveland internet troll. Like he calls into the radio stations. He's a real person, actually. Is like, he yeah, an met. actual real person? Yeah, he's a real person. People have met him. He's very much <laughs> wild, <laughs> but he will just say the most outlandish shit for no reason. Yeah, I like. I follow him on my burner, which I do have, and like <laughs> I, no one knows that it's a burner except for the people on the Cleveland Guardians. <laughs> Right. But I, I follow him on the burn and just his outlandish takes about uh, Donovan Mitchell. Well, the Colin Sexton oh, stuff. I'm like, you are it's obsessed like, dude, you psychopath. Even, like, the games, he's like the best player in the NBA right now. Right. He tries to say that Colin Sexton is better than Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, <laughs> so, very, very, very bad. bad. Um, he went on a whole like Jacoby Brissett tirade too. And I'm like, dude, he's a, he's a backup. What from him? Yeah. What, yeah what do you expect? Someone said, "How many guardians have burners?" I feel like everybody has a burner. Yeah, I've got I kind of started. I kind of started the burner train this year, and I would like, t- I would like tweet at the coaches and stuff, <laughs> and like they figured it out like, halfway through the year. <laughs> I was like tweeting at everybody. Like, oh, yeah, I read some. Did you? Oh yeah, yeah. you know it. You know, yeah, right. <laughs> you, yeah. I read. Some. I was like, "Hold on, wait." You know the burner? No. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, I do. I do know the burner. Yeah, like Tito got a hold of it and thought it was funny, but he thought it was funny. Yeah, he loved it because I was oh talking God. shit to, uh, like Kyle Hudson and and Valeka <laughs> and Justin Tool, and they just like they figured it out because I was talking on the burner is like I would actually. I don't know. It was really <laughs> Did you in trouble? Hilarious. Did they make you run like poles or something? No. It, it, they knew, like, they knew mm-hmm. right away. They're like, this has to be Ernie. Like, we did get this from his random account. Um, but they thought it was really funny. And then the guys on the team got in on it too a little bit. But yeah, Brian is the inside joke with Brian Shaw and me is that we were just like the team scapegoats all year. Oh, come on. Oh, I feel God. bad for him. <laughs> yeah, he gets ripped on way worse. Than I know. Me. It's so mean. And he's like the best. He is like, he handles it so well, but he's like the most like reliable guy. And like, he'll come in in any situation. Just like clean up the dirty work and like, right. he gets, so no, will you, he gets no credit, but he's like the best. Right. You'll go in and throw like a couple innings. Yeah, me too. I go, I, I got right, yelled you'll go at a couple trying harder when I hit. <laughs> Okay, my favorite, my favorite, like game of the whole year was when they listed you as backup catcher. Yeah, and I then, was. I was and then both, guess what you ended up doing? For the yeah, like uh, Hedges got went down with like a concussion, and they're like, yeah, we can't, we are not calling anybody up. Like you're our backup catcher for this. So and I went out ended the up on the mound. What? Then you ended up on the mound. You were backup yeah, catcher, well, and then you were blown, pitcher. And like, yeah, you're going. Pitch if this game. Oh God. <laughs> It was just like huge right. roller coaster. Like whatever, mm-hmm. whatever you guys need, let's do it. Yeah, but you're a fan favorite for sure. I think it's just because of that one time I talked shit to Hiram, Hiram or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, like it carried over. Like when you were on second and you made it to home, that was an all-time moment. Oh, that was exciting. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. That was fun. <laughs> I know. I was so like, kind of like a bittersweet thing when I got picked up by Oakland because I just I love all the guys on the team and like right. I. Know, close relationship with all of them so that was really you know i think it was it was really special and i you know, i cherish those friendships forever like those are my guys so like i'll always root for them but at the same time it's going to be a, a good opportunity over there so i mean you know bittersweet but it was really fun to watch the boys in the playoffs what kind of beer were you shotgunning uh blue lights lavat blue mm-hmm. lights very buffalo mm-hmm. the go-to around here mm-hmm. yeah yeah very very buffalo nah, i had a day that Oh my god! Me and my me and my sisters were watching it together, and I was I was getting after it for sure. Yeah, I had a <laughs> I had a day too. That was great. It was awesome. Even though they didn't score eight runs, which was yeah two total. Yeah, I got in two shotguns. Good. Yeah, you should have made a video and like posted it for the fans. <laughs> I really should have, but you know. <laughs> maybe you should. Maybe you can do one for every touchdown against the Jets. You might uh, not make it. Yeah, though. I think I'll probably do it for every touchdown against the Pats. Yeah. Oh well. yeah, do that one. Because I really it's hope it's going to It's it's probably going to be a lot. I uh. I don't know. 
I don't think it's gonna there's gonna be like that one off like last year. It's it's not gonna be pretty. I hope you're right. Well see, I, I think- thought that about the Bengals game and um look at that. Happy Halloween Cleveland. Yeah, but like the Bengals are n- not anywhere close to I'm the I'm just Bills trying to are. give you some confidence here. I I got none. I appreciate I appreciate the effort. Okay. I got none. <laughs> okay. So you your time in Oakland so far has been not very long, but how has it been there? How's it's it great. Been? Awesome, awesome group of guys. Weather um, nice, yeah. Weather is really nice. Kind of the same every day, which is yeah. way different than Rochester or Cleveland, where it can change like in two seconds. Um it's it's so different on the West Coast. Like it's that was a weird adjustment. I just know I don't yeah. know. I'm not like a Cali guy. I've lived here for almost a year now and I'm like still there are times where it's like a culture shock yeah to me so di- it's so different but uh I mean Oakland's like the areas around Oakland are, pr- are pretty mm-hmm. awesome the stadium is old but very very cool and there's a lot of awesome history um so that was exciting but you know it's kind of this it's kind of the same deal in Cleveland like a bunch of young guys with a couple of veterans sprinkled in really good veterans uh but it's it's just a really really like high energy positive group and they had they had probably it was the worst or the second worst record in major league baseball and i showed up and you know the vibes were were great um i think uh mark katze who's the manager over there is just doing a great job making sure that you know the the boys are uh are positive and it's such a long season so you know to see them you know up and not you know sulking about a couple losses here and there was was really cool like i think they're gonna grow and be really good what are your thoughts on maybe going to Vegas? No, I saw that. Right. That would be wild. Yeah, I feel like the Raiders are a little wild right now, so. Yeah, it's not going well for them. No. no. But. But I don't know. Vegas I think it would fun. be cool. Their AAA is already in Vegas, so. It'd be an easy, it'd be an easy, uh, an easy switch, I think, but. I don't know. We'll see. It'd be really fun. Yeah, so. World Series, what's your prediction? I know it's going on right now, but who's winning? I mean, I don't, I don't know if anybody's beating the Astros in a oh, seven right. series, really, but yeah. if anybody's going to do it, I think it's the Phils. They, they're playing great baseball, and I'm rooting for the Phillies, like, 100%. I feel like everybody that's not an Astros fan Absolutely. is. Yeah, you have to. Right, yeah. I mean, I was rooting for the Astros against the Yankees because they were really pissing me Obviously. off. Obviously, yes. Very true. Right. But the time is gone, and... Yeah, I'd love to see them just, go. You know, uh, not my cup of tea. Kind of the same reason why I'm rooting for the uh, the Eagles to play the Bills in the Super Bowl. It's like, you know, awesome fan base. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool city. Um, Kind of an underdog type thing. But, I mean, they're seven. What are they, seven and now right now? Eagles? Yeah. But not really yeah. underdog, but we'll see. I mean, yeah. Not like the same shit that you see every year. No offense not like it's going to be like Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't make it there very often, but you know what I mean? Certainly not going to be Tom Brady this year. So we can, everybody can rejoice in that. Get a year off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I have a few more things for you. Just some fan questions. Write-ins. If you were commissioner of MLB, what would be your first moves? What are you changing? Ooh, Wow. Um, that's that's a really good question. Um, I would personally, you know, I'm like kind of a baseball like purist. Like, I think the game's perfect, and they don't need to change anything. So, I would change back the runner on second base in extra innings. Um, I think that's just really an unnatural rule. It feels like you're like in a scrimmage when the guy runs out from second to second base in the tenth inning. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of unfair to the pitchers. Like the pitchers all. Um, it is kind of exciting, but that would be that would be my my move. Yeah. See, mine would be free beer, but I like the way that you're thinking. <laughs> I'm, I can get on board with that. Too. Right. Free beer every time your team gives up a home run. Every fan gets a beer. Every yep. fan is mandated to drink a beer. Yeah. That too. We made even like an entire even the children. An entire list of okay. these at the beginning of the baseball season. I, 
wish I remembered what else was on there. Mm, I just know free beer was at the top of the list. Yeah, I don't know. That was definitely number one. Maybe you know Band the Yankees? <laughs> they did free beer. Right. Uh, well, the, you know, have you heard, you heard about like the 10 cent beer night, right? Yeah, it's unbelievable. When they threw all the stuff on the field. Yeah. Oh, so that, we, yeah. Back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right yeah, like over there, down the street. <laughs> yeah. Genius. Right. And that ended not so well. Maybe okay. that's why they do it. <laughs> Next one I have for you. <laughs> Terry Francona, NBA comp. I know you're a big comp guy in the rain delays. Yeah, those are great. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, that actually was a really nice way for me to spend the time with the rain delays. We had unlimited rain delays here. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know. <laughs> come on, come on. You got a good one. I know you do. You're laughing. <laughs> There's so many people. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, Larry Bird. That feels right. Larry yeah. Bird. What about for yourself? I had a couple other ones in mind, but uh, that's that's a good one. Yeah, yourself. What about for you? Me? Yeah. Oh man, I got. I'm a shooter. I like to shoot. <laughs> Even if I miss, I'll shoot. I'll keep. Shooting. Um, shoot my shot all the time in the DMs. <sighs> I probably Clay Thompson. Oh, you were a kidding shooter. DJ McCollum. I like his <laughs> mid range game. I think. Yeah. I'm actually not. I'm a hockey. I played hockey in high school. So, like, this is all just like. Okay. You know, who's I, your NHL comp then? Think, yeah. I'm a big, try. I'm a big hockey gal. So, who's the NHL comp? Oh, geez. Well, I, I again, like, I just like, I like to shoot in oh. hockey too. Uh, I would probably say if, you know, if I could, I'm not as good as any of one in the NHL. They're all incredible. Um, but if I could be one of them, it would be Ovechkin. I knew that was coming. Once you He's said just, shoot, uh, I knew see, it. I don't know anything about hockey, but I do know him. Oh. Yeah, you got to know him. That's so. what, I, yeah, know him. If you could give Bree a comp, you got to give one for each of us. I know you just uh, met Bree. Okay, that's. Yeah, one. Oh, it's not LeBron, perfect. don't even bother. <laughs> Um, let's see. I gotta dig some names. Oh, let's see. We got Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby, Bree, and okay. we have it. um. But it's gonna be. And we have Jack Eichel. Ooh, I don't know who that is. What um, do I need to know? What about NBA? <laughs> That's two pretty good ones, honestly. Okay. I don't think you can get any better than that. I'll, yeah. Okay. Well, if you say so, then I'll take it. Yeah, there you go. Trust. The last one that I have for you, and it goes with your shooting your shot. See, I think someone sent this as a reply because they, they said, if you were to take someone on a date in Cleveland, Ohio, what is the date going to be? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, wow. Plan the day, set the scene. <laughs> like a full day or like a just a I don't night? know, whatever whatever you think is right. What time of year is it? Whatever time of year you want it to this be. This is huge. <laughs> well, am I t like can I take him to a Guardians game? <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can leave no, the tickets I'm, at the right, front. So this First, this is a okay. full day, all right? This okay. is this is a Sunday. Okay, this is Sunday. Brown's tailgate. Going to uni, uni. got it. All right, starting up hot. To the game. Um, watch the Browns win, oh, hopefully. I don't know if that Unless they're playing the Bills. Yeah. <laughs> um, after the game, because this, this is a full day excursion it's anyway. Day, Anytime okay. you go to a football game, it's 12 hours of yeah. doing shit. So, all right. I, then I would probably, you know, do a nice little dinner. Probably go to Marble Room. Oh, okay. You're going all out. They get Got a it. Um, and then, you know, I'd probably take him, probably take him to forward and just Shit. keep the party going all night. <laughs> You're getting a table and some bottles. I get a table. Yeah, whatever. Okay. What's the sign going to say? Oh, when they bring out mm -hmm. the bottle? Oh, uh, Ernie's date night. <laughs> And then forward great. can clip that, and now they can use it for a freaking 
PR. Yeah, wonderful. Perfect. Great. That's great. All right. What a that's, day that would be. Oh that's, I don't, I don't know, know if you would make it one. to the club you know, after. That, that is low-key close to the day that I had yesterday, but my day started at 5, and it did not take all day <laughs> like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd make it, because we that, the other day at the Bills game, like, I mean, I was really trying to pace myself. Just Wait. a long day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's a night game. What time did you start tailgating? Um, we went to the bar at like one o'clock, got some wings and played cornhole and kind of chill, took it easy, did some darts. And then we got to the, we got to the actual tailgate around four thirty, five o'clock. Dude, that's a long I mean, ass day. And then it was like full go. It was like, let's right. go. That was oh. no telling what was going to happen there. Yeah. Yeah. And then you think you're going to go to a club after that? After dinner oh, no. and everything I, like, on a date night? I the car on the way home. <laughs> yeah. No but way. it would be well, way you know different what? if it was an, a date game. Sometimes it happens, though. Sometimes yeah. you go after the game. Yeah. I don't know. My sleepy ass would be ready for bed by halftime if I started <laughs> drinking before a game, like, six hours in advance. Yeah. I, I don't know how we do it. How we did it. No, me neither. Great. You got anything else? <sighs> um... No, I don't think so. Might need to reconvene um, Bill's Pats week, but right. Other than that, I'm glad that's like still a few weeks away. Yeah, yeah you have some time to figure. A couple of weeks to figure out your quarterback situation. Yeah, just putting yeah. it at this point, like it can't get worse. But yeah. the Browns do play the Bills in like three weeks, I think. I know. I think I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm gonna go. I'll see you there. Yeah, we'll go through a table. I'm taking I'm taking my buddy's tickets. He sits right uh he sits right behind Rachel Bush. So I mean I don't know if I'm, I'm sorry, gonna... that was so funny. <laughs> it was just funny because one time we got in a Twitter fight. You and her? Yeah. Why were why would you pick a fight with her? Well, it wasn't my fault. She said something to me. Oh. She and used to I be said, she used to said, be really big on back. the no, Twitter it was, beef it wasn't like a anything. few years back. It wasn't like Perfect. a real beef. It wasn't real beef. She said something about like, she said something, the taxes in New York for all the NFL teams are going to be awful. I, I, I did start it. I lied. I did. <laughs> she, started said, it. <laughs> she said the taxes for all the NFL teams in New York are going to be awful. And I said, there's only one team in New York. True. And she said, I don't know why you would say that that's so not true. I said, well, I mean, you know the one, you know the one team. She blocked me. I mean, you're not wrong. It is, the bills. That was the, that was the beef. Yeah, I got. We'll have to get after it. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh. November twentieth. I'll see you there. Okay. I think that's all we have for you. Um, I'll say go Bills. Bree won't say go Bills, but yeah. Uh, thanks it. for joining us tonight, <laughs> and right. can't wait to watch you on Sunday. You guys rock. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, I'm sorry for all the Bills content. The Buffalo Bills, man. One day, one day, we'll, the earth will realign and we'll go back to normal and it'll stink again. Not today, though. Not anytime soon. Yeah, it's not going to be. I don't think it'll be yeah. soon. Hey, would it be crazy if the Browns beat them? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it'd be fucking nuts. Wouldn't it be so funny? In my mind, I'm telling myself that it could happen. Because you know how there's always, like, one freak game every single year? Yep. This is the one. Yep. Um, it very well could happen. I wouldn't, like, totally count it out. Because, you know, Buffalo still has shown a little uh, here and there. A little right. undisciplined. Not the right word. Yeah, and then realistic. Josh Allen threw two picks like forty-eight to nothing. Yeah, so he's still he's still human. Like he still can be human. So, you know, maybe, probably not, but maybe. Uh, right. Okay. NFL. What Ugh. can we talk about? What can we say? Today was a wild day. Yesterday was also wild, guys. Like I don't even know how I'm here talking right now because I. So. I haven't really, like, been drinking alcohol. Just, like, a little bit. Maybe, like, one drink at, like, dinner. 
Yeah. yeah. Could not say that for yesterday. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was out of control. In every aspect of my weekend, none of it was good. Besides game. Yeah. Absolutely out of control. I was like five tequila sodas deep watching. Oh. Yeah. Right. Watching oh, Jacoby Brissett beat the Bengals. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I'm that happened. I'm so happy for him. Uh, in the first I say this, half. I say this after every win, but, like, I'm right. for him. I'm, I'm just so happy. That little clip of him, he said, I almost got you 55. That's so funny. <laughs> and he said, you ain't going to snap it, ho. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, that was. Ugh. I don't know, man. There's a, I mean, like the trades today. Like we underwhelming. Were, I, I, they're a little underwhelming. I will say. We already talked about it. Though. Like Buffalo got better. Miami got better. Lions look dumb. Yeah, I my I think my biggest takeaway from today, aside from Buffalo and Miami, Miami kind of shocked me with. Bradley Chubb thing because now I feel like okay they are they're fully gonna go for it they're gonna go for the division they're gonna mm -hmm. you know make it a legitimate push not gonna happen but they're gonna still, try their best like you know still not big on them but whatever um the Packers didn't do a damn thing yeah see when I saw Chase Claypool went to the Bears I'm thinking Brandon Cooks Brandon Cooks is gonna be um he's gonna be in Green Bay in like an hour like yeah. he's already on the plane He's going there. He's getting out of Houston. But that didn't happen. So Aaron Rodgers is on the verge of retirement, I think. Yep. The fact that Wild. the Lions traded one of their best assets in the division and the Vikings got better for it. A little and weird. The Packers just sat there and didn't do anything. And apparently they tried. Apparently they tried to... No, you, you know, make some try. moves for receivers and stuff. I, yeah, I mean, what did they call somebody and they got told no, and then that's it? They hung up. Like and I, you let the I Bears don't know. go take the guy that you were going after. Embarrassing. The Bears got Claypool, and I don't care what anybody says. That I think that's makes a really good better. Yeah, that's better. a really good pickup. And the Packers just didn't do anything. Like, it, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Let's get that out there right away you guys all know how I feel about Aaron Rodgers I don't feel bad no I but it's funny but yeah I think this is comical and it's I feel bad for their fans eh, I do yeah I like Green Bay fans I mean they don't really do much to me yeah I don't know I've got some issues with them with the whole goat uh conversation but I don't know just sucks that we're just gonna have I I've more than anything, feel bad for the people on that roster that are going to have to oh, deal yeah, with. They still have to deal with that. Him throwing bitch yeah. fits because they didn't make a move. Yeah, I really 100% convinced that they were getting Brandon Cooks. And then he went to Twitter. Do you see Ooh, what he tweeted? He's yeah, uh, what are the lies? What are, what, what are the lies, Houston? I need to know. I, I need to know. I can only imagine what Nick Casario and Jack Easterby had – put in place and told him what they were going to do for him because they have history from his time in New England. Well, and did you see who quoted it? No. Deshaun Watson. Oh, mother. With like a, the, like a little speaking emoji and exclamation points. I'm like, well, if this has to deal with that, like I don't really know what these lies are. So it's, that's, a, that's a wild tweet. That was a wild okay. one. Okay, well, then I have no idea. Right, because... that was a wild one. Unless, like, they just go around to every disgruntled player on their team and, like, make false promises about moving them or finding a better solution for them or something. And that's similar to what they did with Deshaun all last year. That's what he's talking about. I guess. But, like, it's just really... Hmm. Yeah, they missed out on that one. They should have... They should have traded him. Whatever. Interesting. Say. I don't know. NFL is kind of wild right now. We have quarterback controversy with you guys. It's not, Ugh. I don't think it's a controversy. I just think it's a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's just a lot going on. There's a lot of quarterbacks that are not playing well. 
Yep. Uh, Zach Wilson versus Mac Jones. It was very past. bad. Sunday was ugly. Somebody had to win that game, mm-hmm. and it all came down to which one of the not very good quarterbacks made some not very good decisions. And it just what happened to have been Zach Wilson. Um, I you know, know, Jets dude. fans, Jets fans, I'm sorry that I'm heckling you guys right now, but Jets fans really think that not all of them, there are some that don't, but they think he's okay. What part of that is okay? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of them that still think uh, that he is the guy. I will give credit to at least the ones that I know um, slash follow or both. Seems like that they were back down to earth with this team and straight up admitting that the quarterback is the main problem here. The quarterback yeah. is the issue. He's not the guy. They need to address that mm-hmm. moving forward, whether it be black or white starting or in the draft next want year that either? or free agency. I don't know. But right. Zach, I mean. It's not good. And even, even when he got froze off, a lot of them were like unbalanced. Quarterback mechanics 101 of everything you're not supposed to do is what he was doing. Yeah. You can't, Just that's not really, 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 really bad. Yeah, they you are can't be not successful good. with that. But it's just crazy because the start of the season, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, there's so many good quarterbacks in the NFL right now. It's going to be super competitive. They're all going to be really good. And yeah. we're not getting that. We are not really getting that. Like Matt Stafford is not playing well. No. Joe Burrow Rams, is very hit or miss right now. Rams as a whole are uh, kind of shocking to me. Yeah, they have Kirk Cousins Same out here playing like a top ten quarterback. That's when you know. That's when you know, know. it's like. And I don't think Kirk Cousins is like the worst quarterback by any means, but he shouldn't be um, playing the way he is compared to some of the guys that are on these teams and who should be playing well. I still see Crazy. the Vikings record and I like have to do a double take. Cause I, he's not awful. Like he's, he's not I, awful and he has the pieces to do it. And he's not making the same mistakes these other people are doing. I would put cousins top 15. I feel like that's fair. I mean, you might have to bump him up to top 10 by the end of the season. Uh, so weird. Just how everybody else is playing. Yeah. He had a 17 yard run. Touchdown. A touchdown. Saw, against the saw, Cardinals. So you can't play after that. You gotta end the game at that one. And also give them the win. The Cardinals. Not good. They are continuing continuing to prove me right that they are not good. Not good. Andrew Hopkins is back though. Good. He's good, so that's awesome. Yeah, his little one handed grab was pretty He's... nice to see. Yeah. But what else? What else can we can we touch on real quick? Uh, Ravens got better. Yeah. In the addition of Roquan Smith. However, I still would have liked them to maybe make another move for a wide receiver that's not Deshaun Jackson. Um, right. I mean, that was he's old. But um, I think Roquan Smith is a really good fit for that defense. Let's just hope uh, that it can solve their blowing late leads problem, which... The other night? Seemed okay, but Seemed I mean, they were okay. given who they were playing, I don't know if that is a flex yeah. right now. Uh, no, I don't think it is. No. Mr. Yeah. Brady has got a lot going hey, on. Hey, real Lots quick, issues. real quick, one more little Bengals thing. Mm-hmm. Just one more. Just I just really want to, man, I've been on them all year, and I just want to say they are 0-3 in the division. Oof. That sucks. <laughs> Even the Steelers have a win. That's really bad. Um, well, credit to you guys for uh, winning last night because it, in turn, might potentially help the Patriots in the long run if there is yeah. an actual playoff mm-hmm. push and provided that the Patriots are able to beat the Bengals when they play each other later in the year. Um, I mean, that, because maybe it's possible at this point, yeah. The Pats beat... The, uh, the Bills. I wish. The Pats beat the Browns <laughs> on the tiebreaker there. Um, if it came down to it, that would right. knock them up into a spot. 
long way to go. Still half the season left. They very well could not even come close. Might not even matter. But there's something to think about. Yeah. Look at it through uh, rose colored glasses, as they say. You know, keep that in mind. That's all. Yeah. Um, I just loved every second of that. I loved every freaking second of that game. From the interception fun. to the sack to the other sack to not the Amari interception. But like everything else was so good. I tweeted in the first half, not the first half, after the first quarter, because the first quarter was terrible. That was really bad football, no points. I said, I'm sorry to anyone who's watching this game. And people started quoting it at halftime saying, well, we're winning, well, we're winning. I'm like, okay, well, fuck off. Like, look at the timestamp. Obviously, I said 11. this. What was the score at halftime, 11 nothing. Yeah, be even serious. still, not great. Yeah, be. I don't know. But we've got another week of stupid football this week, so let's do picks before I touch on some of the uh, NBA bullshit okay. in the NBA. Right. Um, yeah, the NBA is a disaster, and low-key, they usually keep it together, but right now they're looking pretty, pretty sad. Um, picks. We'll start it off. We got a World Series matchup. Oh, there's a nice football. It would have been Texans. So perfect if it was like a same night scenario. Be wild. Where like one game, Mm -hmm. like the baseball game is like an afternoon, like four o'clock game or whatever. And then the football game would be awesome. Um, The the Eagles, that'd be even crazier. The Eagles are One not vote. going to lose to this football team. Well, Sorry. No. It, well, they already have. It. They have drama. The Texans have so much drama right now with that tweet. I'm like, yeah. Well, hey. Not, it's not going to happen. They are. The Eagles are, are very, very, very good. I wasn't sure how long it was going to last. I definitely didn't think that they would make it this far. Yeah, I think and they're I, proving it. Yeah. You know, they were taking they were making calls for Kareem Hunt today. Really? Didn't work out. Didn't happen. But they were doing it. That would be. That would be Miles really good. Sanders and Kareem. That yeah, would but good. it would be. Yeah, Kareem would be. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Chargers. Chargers. Falcons. Uh, Falcons. Wild game. Panthers. Yeah. It was wild. But mm-hmm. don't care. Going with Chargers. Yeah, Chargers coming back from a bye. Maybe during that extra week off, Brandon Staley decided to learn how to actually be a good head football coach in the mm-hmm. NFL. And, you know, that's wishful thinking, it seems. Right. But it's – I'm just – I'm going to go with the Chargers. I think they are a better team, a little bit of rest. Maybe they figured it out. Keenan Allen should be back to normal this week. We'll see. Who knows? I hope so because the Chargers. I'm, 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 I'm close. I'm close to right. They're not doing what they need to be doing. Going and... on a Bucks tirade on their ass. So, um, Miami at Chicago. Both teams made moves at the trade deadline to, I would say, especially obviously Miami, but I think the Bears, like we said, actually improved. So. Huh. I don't think it makes a difference against the Dolphins no, because same. I just think the Dolphins are way more talented, but they might have a fighting chance. Maybe. Mm, probably not. Didn't really fight that much last week. <laughs> so I'm going with the Dolphins. Yeah, no, me too. Um, even if they didn't make any moves today, I think they, I would have picked them. So. I'm on a Bengals slander train. I wanted to pick the Panthers. I know that's ridiculous, and there's no way that the Panthers are going to beat the Bengals, but I want to do it. They have Baker Mayfield on their team. I almost did. They have Baker Mayfield. The kryptonite of the Cincinnati Bengals might be just the Browns at this point because um, clearly made no difference last night. But maybe they should should start Baker. He loves to play against the Bengals. So, Panthers, you want to win? That's what you got to do. Yeah, also, their I, fans are, like, really in on P.J. Walker. And I'm like, guys, he's – no, no, no. He's no, doing not, well. He's doing what solution. he can do. But that's just not going to – not going to be it in the long run. No. I really wanted to take the, the Panthers in this, though, just based on um, last night. That was and just what I, I watched, but I – Zach Taylor is a, not a good coach. He's not a good coach. His decision-making is really bad. 
my thing with them is why don't you change your game plan when you're playing against Miles Garrett? You know Miles Garrett is one of the best players in the NFL. You're going to let one scrub, one one of your scrubby O linemen, no offense to your O linemen, but they're bad, go against Miles Garrett and you wonder why your quarterback's on the ground every time? They're maybe, being nice. Maybe they think that – miraculously that would have been the week that the offensive line decides to do what they are getting paid in a bajillion dollars to do collectively. You would assume, but like they didn't. Uh, no, when they were sacking they Joe Burrow, they were being like polite about it. They would rest him on the ground. Yeah. They would slowly lay him down. They're probably like, just go down already because you're not going to stand. Ugh. I don't know, man. Offensive line. I, I hyped them up so much, so much in the off season. Make me look like an but I think that they win this week. All of that being said, they only hope because so. I see a meltdown coming. Speaking of meltdowns, grumpy Mister Rogers um, and the Detroit Lions. Come on, Lions! I know. Beat the Packers! Come on! If you're going to do something this season, then that would just be Aaron Rodgers home. He's oh, already that would just miserable. Be so beautiful. Everything about that would be so great. He's already pissed off because they lost to the Bills. And then two days later, his organization didn't give him any receiving help. And then you go and lose to the Lions. Oh, it would be so that good. Would be so good. It would be so good. I don't think that last part's going to happen, but boy, I would love it. <laughs> love it. Um, Indianapolis Colts at... The New England Patriots. Colts just fired their offensive coordinator. Now, that was definitely a scapegoat move. Yes. Because the head coach is the one that calls the offensive plays. Um, right. They're on a backup quarterback. They just traded Naheem Hines, who I think it, this week probably would have been their running back number one because Jonathan Taylor is up. Broken toe. Tells me. Um, and the Patriots, this is their last game before the bye. And we all remember what happened last year after their bye week. They won, bye, lost, and turned into a completely different team after that. So I'm hoping and praying that they get the win, they go into the bye on a positive note, and they figure out everything that What's they need to on? figure out to make sure that that does not happen again. Because the back half of their schedule is fucking terrifying. I, I, I can't picture, I can't oh picture Matt Jones not playing well in this game. Well, is, but like at the same time, I can't. I don't know. How many weeks? How many weeks are they going to give him? How many weeks does he have until he is pulled again? And the Bears one was a little premature, I think. I don't think that should have happened. I think the only reason why that happened is because of the injury. It was like his first game back from injury and whatever. I don't think he should have played in that game at all. But that's the only thing I can think of because they all said that they both like took first team reps and stuff. So I don't know. That was weird. I don't know if they mm. can pull him up. unless they lose like every single game from here right that's what i'm saying like what's the threshold like five losses yeah maybe bad 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 oh no i don't even want to think about that right now i'm scared about playing a a team that has got a backup quarterback that hasn't even like i i don't think i don't think you're gonna lose i don't think that you are going to lose to the colts we say that about someone every single week but again, I don't see it. <laughs> Just like I don't see the Bills losing to the Jets. I think it's going to no. be a miserable game. He said it's going to be a close game, 38-7. to seven. I, like, we both, we should have known that he was joking. Right. I was about to say, what the hell are you talking about? Did you not watch those idiots <laughs> oh, play? Oh, my God. On Sunday against the Pats, it was like yeah. dumb versus dumber and just really bad. But then he said 38 to 7. Um, the Bills, it's going to get ugly really quick, I think. 
The Bills, de- the Bills defense, I mean, is going to have a field well, day. Miller the Jets defense, Jets defense is actually pretty good. Yeah, I just don't think Jets it's offense is going to stand a chance with Zach Wilson. Yeah, no, they off well the offense. I mean, that's no, 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 no. The the Bills are going to all that might. Um, you're ah, oh, that's so weird to say. Six and one Minnesota Vikings. I believe it though. Like, look at the teams in their division. Look yeah. at the teams that they've been playing. They are not that bad. As long as Kirk Cousins doesn't fuck up. Yep. They'll be fine. It's just so weird because, like, I, my initial reaction when I think Minnesota Vikings, oh, Kirk Cousins, oh, they're like hovering around 500. <laughs> they're very. Well, everybody else around them is just good. like. We're getting like really bad football this season. Yeah. And everyone Maybe Tom had Brady was on to something. Yeah. He was <laughs> if he included himself, yeah. He yeah. was right. Like everyone hyped it up. Everyone's like, this season's gonna be so good. All these quarterbacks are going to be really good, which they should be. You know, they have the potential to do so. And it's just so bad that again we have Kirk Cousins outplaying all these young guys. Good for him. Good for him, I guess. Yeah, good for him. You're stealing all that money from the league, you might as well get your money's that, right? worth, I guess. <laughs> he really is, though. You know, but I would um, really love if they could include Justin Jefferson a little more. They've been a little stingy with yeah. him. See, uh, KJ Osborne, you're cool, and I'm glad you're scoring, but maybe don't. Maybe try <laughs> the other guy. Um, yeah. I really like Taylor Heineke, though. And I am very oh, happy gosh. for what he's doing. Um, yeah, specifically like because too. this means we're never going to see Carson Wentz ever again, I don't think. Yeah, he's done. He's done. There's a lot of quarterbacks that are going to be done after this season. Man, I don't care. Whenever he becomes healthy, he's not. He's not. And if. Yeah, he's done. If Rivera. He's going to be uh, like him a. Back, you know, like, I could see. No, I'm just going to keep myself, I think. Uh, I, you want me to say what I was going to say? Yeah, what are you going to say? I was going to say Carson Wentz is going to go on to have a career like freaking Joel whatever, the TV preacher man. That's his next That's Joel, his next career. What's his name? Joel Austin or something? I, think, like I don't that. know. You guys know who I'm talking about, but I, this is next career move. Carson, I mean, uh, I truly... See, I should have kept it to myself. I truly think his days as a starter are done. I don't... I can't imagine another team trading for him or signing him for starter money in free agency or anything like that. Like mm-hmm. he's done. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm sorry, but he's going to be on the TV. Like the one girl from the bachelor, what's her name? She, her name's, I think her name's Maddie, Maddie, maybe. Oh, Ma- Maddie Pruitt or whatever. The yeah. One she's on the Joel, married. whatever route now too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, that clip that like circulates around TikTok. Yeah, like it's the, like, yeah. Jesus is the only one that can satisfy. Like, her. and then everyone's yeah. like, "Have you ever tried yet? Yeah. You ever had a have peanut ever, butter and jelly sandwich? Like, you ever watched your football team win on Monday night? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that one's pretty cool too. <laughs> oh man. Um, this. I mean, this next one is just bad. Raiders what? at Jaguars. What is up with the Raiders? I think they that suck. They I suck. Just, <laughs> they're not good. They're it's so like, bad. How many points did they score? Was it zero? zero? Yeah. Zero. I Okay, so I have the Raiders kicker as my fantasy kicker. Zero oh. points. You know how mm. hard that is as a kicker? Yeah. God. I would just like it to be known that I was on the right side of history with this when I predicted that this is you going did. to be a shit show because Josh McDaniels is not, not a good. head coach. He can't do it. Ugh. They were already a mess to begin with. Like, that whole thing is going yeah. really bad but like it's it's, it's not bad. good and it, it's really not good where i think that trevor lawrence and the jacksonville jaguars have a better chance of winning this football game than the more talented team with who you would think would probably be the better head coach but obviously not and what a time gross. Gross, i don't gross, know gross. and mm. then uh, another just bad football team the Arizona Cardinals are not good. I think it's time that we have that conversation for real. 
And it's time to have the convo that the Seahawks are playing decent football. Yeah. Sorry, Giants. It's interesting, though. Um, just by the way that all of Russell Wilson's former teammates have been talking. Right. Maybe Mr. Nice Guy wasn't as liked as everybody thought. Yeah, I think he's just trying too hard. It's, and I think he has, yeah. like, this, like, complex of... You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, no, no. I understand. He seems like a major phony. That's not the first time I think we've either of us have said that. Um, But for Tyler Lockett, who has been a key part of this team for a while, has played with Russ and everything like that, for him to say um, what he said about how nobody, it's it's nice to play football Mm -hmm. when nobody cares about who gets the credit or whatever he said verbatim, like, that's pretty interesting. Mm, yeah. And you had his own teammates. You had Russ's own teammates clowning him for doing the high knees on the plane. Well, he's a, like, who does that? And I, I do. I think it's like, it's a lot. Like, a lot of people are trolling him. A lot of people are saying a lot of things about him. But some of it, he just needs to not do it. A lot of it is deserved. And a lot, but a lot of it is brought on himself. Right. He just needs to not do it. Congrats on I him, had to. Though. I had to mute his name, like in why? Because you got too many subway phrases, commercials on Twitter. Like I'm just, I'm so sick of seeing all the corny shit oh, that I he does. I love to see it from the commercials, and then that the little media scrum where he he admitted that he was doing high knees and stuff. And oh, I don't get jet lag. Well, first of all, shut up. Yes, you do. Everybody gets jet lag. I don't care. And, and if, you, if you say you don't, you're a liar. He's such a dork. Really. <laughs> really is just sit down you know god just stop talking for five seconds please oh my god he stresses me out (sighs) stresses me out yeah i think the seahawks are gonna win this game yeah yeah with all that being said um seahawks are gonna win i feel like okay so i think gino is doing a really really good job he looks like a top 10 quarterback better than kirk cousins but is he gonna continue to play like this you think this is legit I don't know. See, that's if, my issue. I don't know if it is or not. But I'm happy I don't know for him. If it's legit from like a talent standpoint, but it's legit from the fact that he has everything his going on together. Yeah, team rallied around him. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's all you need, right? And I mean, he's got the. It seems like the full unwavering support from receivers, his offensive line, his head coach, top to bottom, the entire team just seems like they are they got his back and mm-hmm. it's crazy what can happen when all you need is just that little bit of morale you don't necessarily mm-hmm. need to be the best but it's it's possible because that division isn't all that great either no it should be but it's not no it very much should be but mm-hmm. no watch and him he's... win watch him win it Oh, that I would be so that. funny. I would yeah, love that'd it. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Well, I mean, these so good. dummies aren't going to do it. The Rams, they're not going to do it. No. They stink. Cam Akers? Oof. I'm surprised he's still on the team. How the hell did he not get moved? Right. That was, I'm thinking that for like Kareem too. But I thought the conversation a month ago was that he's played his last snap for the Los Angeles. Well, maybe he has. Just not going back out. Maybe they couldn't find anybody and they're going to cut him. But then what, they're going to eat all that dead money? Like, right. that doesn't seem logical. I don't know. Um, I don't think they're beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, though, regardless no, of whatever either. the hell is going yeah. on. Tom Brady, you've lost many games, okay? You lost a lot of games. You look like a clown. You can't lose anymore. And we've said this for like the last three weeks, but like I'm saying you can't lose anymore. You can't do it. You have to win. This is going to sound really bad. And uh, like, I feel like I'm allowed to say this because I've watched this man's life play out for the last 20 years. So it's not as bad coming from me. Um, I think he's going to start going like full psycho hellfire balls to the wall, playing good football. Now that okay. the divorce well, is done. It's finalized. It's not done. 
it's still very much out there for everybody to see read oh no no no, no. i know that but like it's he doesn't have to dodge the media questions about it or pretend it's not going on like it's out there everybody knows about it he can move on and focus on playing football see i couldn't be any more opposite from that i think it's just really yeah i think well it's already been there we've already been talking about the whole like season we're like they're getting a divorce everybody knows they're getting divorced yeah but i think play football man i think the fact that he could finally said it he doesn't have to worry about hiding anymore or saying oh no well no i'm just focused on the team or i'm just focused on this when obviously we all know something was going on behind closed doors but like there was never any confirmation about it now i right. think he can just move on you know who's annoying me with this whole thing I men a lot of people. no offense guys yeah there's a lot of men that are annoying about it so i don't really i hope everything is well for both of them i hope their mm-hmm. mentals are okay i hope they're both going to live great lives without each other but the men making like comments are so annoying. So I yeah. said, if you're going to pick something, at least be good at it, you know? Yep. And they said, well, she's a spoiled, entitled brat. And I'm like, uh, she has a whole career worth more money. Like, and then men started to say she wanted to get the divorce because he got his TV deal now. And I'm like, do you not realize that she doesn't need that? Then I replied to a man and I said, Men are terrified of successful women. They prove that every day. This guy goes on to say, why would you say that he was literally married to her? I said, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you guys in the comments. You could never be able to date a woman that has that kind of success because you guys are crying over someone that you don't know getting divorced. And also, if they, if these people, because I've seen those comments too, and it's just... Dumb, but if you did an ounce of research, you would know that she like kind of hung up her career so right. he could continue to play and she could take care of the kids. She did it all. And they're like, that's like, very selfish of her to make him halt his career. Well, she did it too. Okay, this is a this is a co-experience. So. Yeah. Ugh. Right. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. I might also like we don't have to continue to talk about it, but like I'm just really bummed. Like, I, I knew it was going to happen. It was no surprise. But, like, it was, the fact right. that it was real coming from them, mm-hmm. not coming from, like, the gossip columns or whatever. Like, it was real from right. them. That one hurt a lot. Yeah, see, if LeBron got a divorce, I'd be upset. Yeah. Like, we watched their lives unfold for the last however many years. Now it's, yeah. it's over. Um, all right, well, moving on. Tennessee at Kansas City. I don't. We got Malik again? I don't think it matters. I like like Malik, but I just don't think it's going to happen here, man. Yeah. Chiefs. I don't think it matters. Um, Mm -hmm. Chiefs, I mean, the Chiefs got Darius Tony now, too. I know he hasn't played. Or yeah, but if you're quarterback to Patrick season. Mahomes, uh, you're gonna be good. In you're forever, gonna get the ball. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna be fine. I think that's pretty. It's going a little bit under the radar. I think that acquisition. Um, I think we're gonna see a little bit of him on Sunday yeah. night. I'm kind of excited for it, and I think Kansas City's gonna roll. They mm-hmm. usually do. They'll probably put up like forty. Yeah, that sounds mm-hmm. about right. Sounds right. Um, and then Baltimore at New Orleans, Monday Night Football. I don't have any reason to believe that the Ravens aren't going to win this football game. Right. Lamar had the pay me sign. Yeah. He's ready to go. Lamar's That's ready it. to go. Yeah. And I, I, like Andy Dalton, I against. No. He's lost to the Bengals. So, or he's lost to the Ravens so many times. Yeah. He's used to it. Yep, I don't see it happening. So those are the picks. That's the week. Um, it's kind of a week. Yeah, week. I agree. Not, there's nothing that really is like standing out to me that I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to watch that game. There's not, there's really not a game that I am excited to watch. No, I'm, I'm right there with you. Those matchups really aren't 
anything special. I mean, the there's two that I think have a chance to be competitive, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be good. And the mm-hmm. Seahawks and the Cardinals and then the Rams and the Bucks, like those, I feel like are going to be competitive games, but just I don't know, lousy competitive. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> what do you okay. expect without the Cowboys playing? Um, listen, the Cowboys are lucky that they beat the Bears last week. It was touch and go for a hot second. So, relax a little. But let's wrap this up. With give some, you some basketball. With some basketball. Oh, boy. So. Uh, we play tomorrow. Yes, we do. Again. We have a great game. It's on ESPN. If you guys are bored tomorrow night, Celtics Cavs on ESPN, that should be a good game to watch. Yeah. If you did not watch part one, um, what was it, Friday night? That was a crazy game. That was a really good game. So, this is, this is going to be very good, too. Leave it Celtics. To- uh, but. Mm-hmm. Still early in the season. Um, yeah, no, I'm really, I'm really excited. I had a lot of fun watching that game. I had a lot of fun watching guys. <laughs> as I mean, I cannot believe opponent. it. I cannot believe that you have Kevin Love out there still, like gray man. hair and all. Dean Wade. If you guys don't know who Dean Wade is, he's the real D Wade, best D Wade in basketball. Um, <laughs> he's he's doing it. Donovan Mitchell, man. Darius might play tomorrow. But his eyes a little swollen still, so we'll see. But yeah, that should be a good game. Be fun. Excited. Um in other basketball news though, if you guys did not see yeah. today, which I'm I'm sure everybody has, but we're just gonna touch on it real quick. Um the Brooklyn Nets had parted ways with Steve Nash. Which was, a, was a mutual, mutual decision. thing. I guarantee one hundred percent he's probably like, Yeah, get me the F out of here. Yeah. I I mean for his own mental just, well-being. The team is and the organization is just toxic. Everything about it is just like not good. Um so let's make that better by hiring Ime Udoka as our next head coach because there's nothing going on with him that is going to add to the problems that we already have, right? Yeah, it seems a little too um highly suspect. Um, it's not official yet, but like it might as well be. And yeah, uh, just might as well do it right now. I don't know what Nets front office is thinking because you are already are dealing with a shitstorm because of Kyrie Irving and the things that he has decided to promote on his. Also, socials. his apology was not an apology. You can't take responsibility for anything ever. <sighs> And Kyrie Irving, it just makes me so sad. It's like, it just, really does. I don't understand so because sad. a couple of years ago, he genuinely did seem just like a normal person. I don't know what He was changed. just like a fun kid playing basketball, winning basketball games, won a championship, and then, like, man, like, I was like, it really, truly makes me want to cry because he was my, like, favorite Cavs basketball player of all time, and now I, like, hate him. It's... It is insane. It's the whole thing is just so crazy. The downward spiral it seemed like over the last five years that he's and this like we obviously it doesn't need to be said, but like right now it does. The mm-hmm. anti Semitism stuff, like knock stop. it off, man. It's bullshit. It's it's wrong if whatever. You guys, I mean the fact that we have to even say stuff about this is insane. We're, it's 2022. What are we doing? Why are we still doing this? But for an organization that had to put out a statement the other day condemning the things that he um, has said and the things that he's promoted and whatever, to turn around and hire a guy or be in the process of hiring a guy who was just fired essentially for workplace misconduct of a sexual nature. I'm still not a thousand percent sure what to call what he did, but that seems like the best kind of way to put it. Um, hmm. Interesting. We're already dealing with one bad thing. Why don't we just add another? Into we'll the just mix? keep going because what like, could go wrong when you do that? I don't like. I. It says a lot about. Mm-hmm the organization and 
their, I guess, morals or whatever. Yeah. See, I agree with this. I'm surprised the league hasn't stepped in to suspend Kyrie. I'm kind of too. Right. Or like fine him, make him do something. Like I'm really surprised. I, I don't I don't understand it either. And I feel like they're really on top of things like that. They're really progressive. They're always yeah. to the point with that stuff. And this is not. I I don't know. I don't know because the the players association put out a statement today too about the things that he's been doing and yeah. saying and and that's it nothing from you would think mm-hmm. you would think that there would be yeah. some sort of disciplinary action like you said from a, an, a league that is the best of the best i would say in terms of handling like these social issues and things like that yeah, and they're just not uh, i don't know wild i don't know um but, I mean, if they think that Ime can fix the Brooklyn Nets, then whatever. I, I think from any way you look at it, it's bad. I don't think he's going to make a difference with this roster. Um, it's just mm-hmm. shitty all the way around. And it, the quickness in which it happened is a little uh, interesting to me. Yeah, it's he was fired and then they have a new coach in like five minutes. So yeah, that was a bit it's a bit weird, I will say. Yeah. The timing. Yeah. Seemed uh seemed a little premeditated, I would say. But I'm you know, we'll find out. And maybe it doesn't even happen after all. Maybe it blows up and there's no deal. Who knows? But as of right now, it's all but happening. So we uh we'll see. I guess. I guess. Ugh, tired. Today was a long day. Yeah, I'm just going to let you guys know that, again, I don't know how much more I can emphasize this. The last two days have felt like (laughs) two years. I have been so reckless over the last, like, 48. I don't know how I'm here. From Sunday till this morning, I had to skip my freaking workout class. I had to skip because I wasn't going to be able to, I would have thrown up there. Oh, man. Charlie Coyle. Okay, so the Bruins are on right now, so we actually have to wrap it up. But Charlie Coyle just scored. That's great. Um, yeah, you go take a nap. Take, like, a hot shower. I'm relax, taking a nap till tomorrow. Face mask. Um, oh, yeah, it's 8.30 at night. Go to bed. Right. Billy's up to nothing. Okay, it's time. It's time yeah. for us to go. Time for us to watch some sports. Um, watch the Celtics-Cavs game tomorrow if you want to be entertained. That's all I got to say. That's it. I got nothing else for you. Mm -hmm. See you guys next week. That's it.